<laughs> yeah, that's exactly what that was. <laughs> hey guys, here's a big Lebrowski coming in again with another video, hoping that people will finally realize that Jake Weddle is possibly the biggest fraud of 2024. So if you're subscribed to my channel, it must be pretty obvious by now that I absolutely do not like Jake Weddle. In fact, since this guy Dogpack started calling out Mr. Beast for being the huge piece of garbage that he is, I was actually rooting for him and for the downfall of James Donaldson, because I just can't stand that guy. He is definitely in my top three of the most annoying faces I have ever seen. But everything started to change when Dogpack released his second video, because in said video he decided to feature this Jake Weddle guy. So as soon as I saw that guy, I thought that there was something off with him, and lo and behold, trying to know more about this dude, I checked his socials, and it turned out that he deleted his Twitter account right before this whole sh show with Mr. V started. So I sat through hours of all Twitter XML logs and over 6,000 pages on the web archive, and I finally understood why I felt that there was something off with this guy. If you're interested to see in detail why you shouldn't believe Jake Weddle claims of being a nice guy, then I recommend you take a look into this 48 minute long video where I go over all the evidence I got on him proving that he's a lying sack of shit. But in short, this guy lied about his relationship with Chris Tyson where he said that they were just co-workers when in reality they were pretty close. He was also being completely unhinged on Twitter and despite him presenting himself as a nice guy, he was posting really nasty shit against people that had a different political ideology as his. And finally, he's a person whose claims need to be taken with a grain of salt, since as he himself admitted, he uses drugs. Sure, I do drugs, yeah. But not only that, he also abuses of them, because there is a shit ton of tweets of him referring to drug and alcohol abuse. So yeah, a couple of days back, Dogpack released his third video on the matter, that supposedly was going to be the final nail in James Donaldson's coffin, but actually turned out to be just a bunch of garbage that wasn't even near to what he promised. So this flop of a video had as a result people starting to doubt the credibility of Dawson, which to be honest with you, like I said, he lost most of his credibility to my eyes the moment he featured that sellout cloud chaser Jake Weddle. But most people still believe 100% of everything that Dogpack said. Well, but it seems that the veil of untouchability is starting to fade off because people on Twitter were not really happy with that nothing burger of a video. So this led to some big YouTubers like Tom Dark or Nicolas DeOrio doubting Dawson's credibility and by the way, props to that the Oreo guy for actually being objective and not riding dogs back meat because he was really critical about that last video he made. And just helping me out along, Jack. Why didn't you fucking find that out before you made the video? Bro, f this guy. Bro, f her. F everybody i'm done so yeah anyway the fact that people are starting to doubt dog pack makes me hopeful that they will also start to see jake well for the lying piece of garbage that he is and by the way i want to clarify once more because people seem to not understand this i do not like mr beast i don't like james donaldson i hate that guy i am also not getting paid by him obviously but at the same time i do not like dog pack or jake well so my point is that i am actually neutral to this whole situation i take no sides in this i want to see dawson and jake well go down just as much as I want to see Mr. Beast go down. Anyway, going back to the topic. So a few days back, Jake Weddle was featured on a stream from that dogpack blazer Cam Nuggets, which I read on Twitter that got really bad because this guy Lyrics was invited and he started asking Jake Weddle some hard questions. I didn't cover this on my channel because I didn't want to give views to that idiot Cam Nuggets, aka Dawson's number one meat rider. But a few moments ago of recording this, Lyrics posted his side of the stream and so I watched it. And oh boy, I wasn't disappointed. Because towards the end of said stream, you can really see Jake Weddle showing glimpses of that unhinged demon that he used to let loose on his now deleted Twitter account. And this only reinforces my theory that Jake Weddle is not the nice guy he wants you to believe he is. I'm a nice guy. But actually he's just a big piece of shit. So with all that out of the way, I would like to go over the highlights of that stream because holy balls dude, it is good. So during the first half an hour of this video, they discuss the whole solitary confinement fiasco where Lyrics is trying to understand why Jake Will behaves like a big old baby. Other people have come forward and say like Jimmy talks to the crew really, really shitty, but he doesn't tiptoe around feelings, right? So I had a really, really hard time pitching stuff to Jimmy just because of the way he spoke and the way he is. And so 
there is that anxiety that comes from letting down the guy who has all of the money. Me, somebody who has, you know, grew up on food stamps. You know what I mean? Here's the guy who I have to make happy in order to, you know, get the things I want. Mr. Beast is not responsible for your anxiety. Mr. Beast having a lot of money so you feel like fearful to try to speak up against him, he is not responsible for that. Mr. Beast is also not responsible for being a stern CEO that it sounds like he just speaks his mind towards his uh, employees and doesn't tiptoe around feelings. Yeah, welcome to like nearly every CEO <laughs> that has ever existed. You having anxiety and being fearful to say no to someone just because they have a high status does not now make them responsible. You're a grown own man, Jake Weddle. I don't know why you're removing so much agency from yourself like you're a kid. Then he got asked like the most simple question and he started to get really heated. Because with what you're saying, it sounds like Mr. Beast can't ethically run any yeah, kind no, of challenge. Yeah, no, it's not like it's a challenge or anything. What'd you say? Well, yeah, no, I, I also don't like the way he does challenges too. So I'm yeah. just consistent on that too. I think I think when you stick a camera in a poor person's face and make them dance for money, I think it's f***ed up and weird and creepy, but that's just me. Okay, so do you think there's any ethical way that Mr. Beast could be doing these challenges? Yeah, turn the fucking camera off. Don't, you know, don't, don't, don't do a challenge. You want to be ethical? Just fucking donate because it's the right thing to do. Don't make fucking content out of it. Or if you so are going to make content no. out of it, don't, make, don't do fucking yacht videos. Don't do a million dollar fucking excess videos later because that's ridiculous too. You can actually feel how his blood is starting to boil with each question. And also it's just funny how this guy threw as much insults in that short span of time as EDP445 in any of his videos. <laughs> so next he gives a sorry ass explanation of why he lied about the whole Chris Tyson situation about what happened to him absolutely and did I come back and do a challenge uh, because of I the ability to continue to speak publicly that I was doing your video cited in question uh, yeah I was able to do more videos because of that that's why you talk nice in public and then I, uh, I was smart. even though I had that horrible horrible experience I still shut the fuck up about it until I saw I don't know discord chats and I you know heard why they called him Delaware allegedly you know, so I, I heard all these things and I thought, yeah. oh, I shouldn't be quiet any second longer. And I ran to dog pack as fast as I could. And here I want to point out something that I read the other day in Twitter as I was having an argument with someone. So Jake Whittle said that the main reason why he went running to dog pack like the little baby that he is, is because of the Discord chats that got leaked where Chris Tyson was taking part and being a freaking weirdo dude. So during that whole situation, Jake Whittle claimed that at some point he knew that the Beast crew were doing edgy jokes and that he wasn't really okay with that, implying that that was the final push he needed to tell his war story to the world. I was just trying to do my job. Sometimes there'd be like an offhanded joke. That's a little gross. I mean, I'm a stand-up, so I'm very desensitized to that. I didn't hear anything that was like, whoa, that's crazy. Like when I saw, the reason I messaged you instead of talking to reporters sweetly like I have been, was when I saw the Discord stuff. <laughs> if you're gonna make fun of my dad, I don't care what happens to me and my career and reputation after this. I had to, I had to say some stuff. 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 So whatever happens, happens at this point. Well, it's funny that he mentions that being the catalyst for him coming out when he was doing exactly the same thing. For example, let's take into account that he admitted knowing that his audience consisted mostly of little kids, but then he was tweeting shit like this. <laughs> Yeah, this absolutely looks like someone who think that those edgy jokes were disgusting. Then as the conversation kept going, Jake Weddle would start to show how fragile he is because as I said before, he would get extremely frustrated with each question that lyrics would ask. But now he's defending it. So it's fine if you have an emotional outburst in one well, moment. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm defending I'm it, it was the whole time. I'm not sure what the point of these questions are. Like, I stand behind everything I said and I said them on purpose. So does that help? Yeah, the reason why I brought these uh, questions because you okay. were mad why the people are going at you and at your approach. And I brought up that it's very much justified to go at your approach because you seem oh, to no, be very I, I, aggressive and inflammatory. Oh, no, I'm more upset that people are mad at my vibe. I'm more upset that people are mad at my vibe. I, I, don't, I don't think me being my – the way I speak and the way I talk should be uh, discrediting. Uh, my entire life I've done stand-up. I wish I could fucking turn it off. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm not talking about your vibe. I'm just talking about, like, the things you're saying. Okay. Then they would start discussing about how Jake Well, despite repeatedly saying that he didn't want any money from James, he still took some, and when he got called out for that, he started to go ballistic. Yeah. So I have a clip up if you want um where you quote exactly in your previous video i'm sure you're aware because this yeah. is what you've grown your new audience yeah, off yeah. of is that you said that the yeah, way yeah. you're going to win this game is with honesty and not taking money i don't want yeah. your mo money mr beast and do you see like how taking 50k from mr beast 
Yeah, uh, I don't much want his take money. Away your credibility. Listen, listen, I don't think it does. Let's talk about nuance. Still, let's talk about nuance real quick. Let's talk about nuance. Well, I could establish. Let's talk about nuance. Let's talk about nuance. Okay. Do you want me to establish no, 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 the points? Yeah, we're going to establish the points. The, the points that I established that I'm going to help you follow. So the points that we're establishing <laughs> is I don't want Jimmy's money. I don't want to be in a position to have to take Jimmy's money. When you have $200 in your bank account and they're offering you $190,000 and you still don't take all $190,000 because you don't want to be bought out, because you don't want to be XYZ but you still need 50. I don't want Jimmy's money, but I need to eat food. No, no, Is that okay? I, Does I that make sense? Yeah, I want to yeah. be fair to you. Um, I don't want to ramp this up and get yeah. an aggressive conversation. I do understand where that no, comes I from. And I know how you're met. You're in a very difficult situation. It is a very much like that yeah, yeah, of yeah. a moral dilemma. But I don't think Mr. Beast is responsible for your poor financial status. And I got to say that I absolutely agree with this guy here because this is yet another thing that I discussed on my first video on this whole situation. Jake Weddle is a really unstable person that not only has or had an alcohol and drug problem, but also he had a huge money problem. And I am sorry, but I just can't feel any sympathy for you, Jake Weddle. You live in the United States. You worked for Mr. Beast, Kai Sanat, and I don't know how many other famous creators. You got paid one. $100,000 plus another $50,000 now, so that makes a total of $150,000. I mean, $150,000 is more money than I will ever see in my life. And you're complaining about having money problems? Dude, why don't you try living in a third world country like I did for most of my life? You know how grown up people solve their money problems? They just work their asses off. I had to study for years, surviving with the bare minimum. I got a degree that is completely useless nowadays, so I had to work my ass off to save up some money and be able to travel here here to Germany and start my life from zero again. So I am sorry if I don't feel bad for you because of having money problems, despite having it incredibly easier than other people did. Dude, this guy is such a fucking crybaby, dude. I just can't stand this whole number that he's doing. And even after all that, now you have yet another chance because thanks to this whole Mr. Beast shit, not only you got even more money, but also you have the opportunity of making money through YouTube. And yet here you are still crying like a baby because your life is so hard. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Anyway, after after that, Lyrics kept asking Jake about the whole taking the money from Mr. V situation and Wellu finally had enough and completely lost it. It will be because I earned it. I don't want your money, Mr. Beast. And, I, and you, you came across. I that 50, and you came if you across. Don't think I earned that 190. If you don't think I earned that 300, then you can suck a dick, brother. Um. Uh, okay. Uh, and then to put the cherry on top, he would come up with the most head scratching statement of all time. And so, like, but I had this conversation with Jimmy, and now I'm trying to have it uh, with you. So, so what I think, I I have factored in where the the people who are going to scrutinize me the hardest. I factored them in. I factored in people who are empathetic and humanistic people who just, you know, want to see me, uh, you, know, you know, get what I deserve, which I appreciate. I'm sorry, get what you deserve? This guy is completely delusional. What makes you entitled to anything, actually, dude? You agreed to shoot a video. You failed miserably because you are too much of a putty to say no. You got paid anyways, twice, and you still think that the world owes you even more? Man, this guy. No wonder I had this burning feeling in my stomach the second I saw his stupid ass cry in front of the camera and that dog pack video. Anyways, this clown is still talking about that idiot Mr. Beast despite repeatedly saying that he doesn't want to make these videos, but seeing that his so-called comedy doesn't work, he has no chance and keeps slurping on Mr. Beast sausage. Kim, baby, honey, good to talk to you like we always do. Loving your coverage so far. Yeah, no, it's really great. Webble? You called him Webble. <laughs> Thank you for reading off the script. So, listen, wanted to give you more scripts. Before I do, yeah, that's exactly what that was. <laughs> uh, yeah, someone let him know that 2006 called and they want their jokes back. Jesus Christ, dude. Anyway, I think that Jake Weddle is just a huge clown and he's not even the funny kind. He most definitely cannot be trusted because he's just a deranged person that is mostly driven by clout and money, even though he keeps saying that he's not. The fact that Dawson decided to feature this guy on his second video as the main gun to hurt James Donaldson was just the beginning of his credibility 
Fancy going down the toilet. And after that lame third video that he posted, it seems that he's just not as reliable as everyone thought. So yeah, guys, that is it for today's video. And if you're someone that actually have a functional brain, leave a like because I know that all the dog packs and Jake Will meat riders are going to come here to dislike this video. But we need to show them that it is possible to think logically and actually criticize one side without siding with that other side. Because I repeat, I want Jake Well and Dog Pack to go down as much as I want Mr. Beast to go down. So yeah, anyway, subscribe to the channel because I say so. And yeah, I'm the Big Lebrowski. Take care and I'm out.